Good morning. Here we are. It is Tuesday, June 25th, 2024. I am Tessa Marie and welcome to the Morning Blessings. It is a lovely day. The sun is coming on. Morning says, yeah, I won, I won, I won, I won. <laughs> That's what Kylie said yesterday. Hi, Deborah. Good morning. Good morning, Colleen. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing today? It is a wonderful day, and the morning blessing is going to be amazing. Um, one of the things we know for sure is that when we plan things to do in the morning, we have to remember it's a routine, and a routine only works. You know, in August, it'll be four years. Good morning, Deborah. How are you? It's four years since I started doing this thing all the time. Oh, look at the good morning blessing um, notification from Stacy. We have color in there today. And it's 8 o'clock, so we have to get the show on the road. And the, of course, Instagram doesn't always allow us to scroll. So what we can, me scroll up so I can see which of you are showing up here. I can see that Georgie, good morning, welcome. Loretta, good morning, welcome. Peter, good morning, welcome. So today, this particular morning blessing, I wrote it out. I put the energy into it to put it all. Good morning, Peter, how are you doing today from Malaysia? All of you amazing human being, how are you doing today? So the morning blessing is, you were born to create there are no right time, right strategy, or right equipment. So I know, for example, if you are retired, they're going, that's, I have people that are both retired, up and improved and coming ones like all of, the, all of you, and then the younger ones that are deciding, is this okay to listen to this wild senior citizen woman, right? But if somebody asks me, how do you feel? And I had to explain to them. I would have to say, I feel amazing. But if they're really pushed and how you feel, I said, I just feel normal. Like I'm 40, I'm 30. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel. But what I do is what I'm supposed to do. And it's what I feel I should do. And that is to be me. And if you do that, it doesn't matter what others think of you. Sometimes somebody wants to harness your energy so they can live through you. They want somebody to be a mate or something, but they don't need you for you. They need you for themselves. And if you're wise enough in the moment of time to click on it, then you realize, hey, I can be anything I desire to be. I can create and there's no right time to start. So that tells me, hi, Arita, when I wrote this, I thought of you. So you listen carefully. Good morning. And how are you feeling? And Peter, if he's still there. Yes, Peter. You and Arita were the two in mind because I know both of you are on a journey of creativity and doing the things that you're supposed to do. I can't move my scroll. So hello, welcome everybody. If I missed you, I'm sorry. There is no right time, right strategy, or right equipment to create. So if you're older and you're hearing this, do not walk away. Because even if you are creating a room for you to sleep in. You are creating a, an area for you to muse in. You are working in your garden or you are, you're, you're, you're seeing your neighbor. You're doing something. You're all creating. The thing is, our thoughts are not neutral. No matter how thing we believe they're neutral. Our thoughts create something. We might not accept it, but it does. So one thing I know for sure is this. No matter who you are, how old you are, where you are on the circle called life, you are creating. Whether you create a garden, whether you create it just a dinner, you are a creator. The same thing applies to each and every one of us. You are creating a vision of the vision. Good morning, Yuko. How are you feeling today? Of the job you desire to have. And that is creation. Or you are the senior citizen that is just happy to wake up this morning and say, God, I feel good. And that's me. But in between my days, I create, I do something amazing. And if you're like a Rita and Peter, I don't know, I wish Peter, I should have forced him to stay. 
are now creating something unique to be that special person, you for sure have to continue. And you have to remember there is no right time, no right strategy, and no right equipment. There are times that it is helpful to receive advice from more experienced creators or people or seniors or elders. Good morning, Nadi. How are you feeling this morning? Hold on. It's, good. it's a good topic. Remember, it is information, not a prescription. I understand that you're seeking to be successful. You want to write a book. You want to write your second book. You want to create your podcast. You want to learn Japanese. You want to do all of those different amazing things. You want to be the most fabulous, amazing creator of content, you, Stacey and Yuko. You want to sit back in your chair one day and relax and say, God, I had a journey. What a journey, you will say. And that's Colleen and Lorette and all of you ladies that are a little bit younger than you were last year. Because I always say you're younger. Because last year, you couldn't do this. This August will be four years that I have been actually working on Instagram. Four years. So I was older four years ago. I was older like yesterday. Today I am a younger. This is a younger version of me. And that version has something to give you, yes. But what it is, there, is, there are times that it is helpful to receive advice from more experienced creators or humans. But you have to remember, it is information, not a prescription. Oh, that is the same day as my sister Marina who passed away, Stacy. That was her birthday, August 14th. Remember, it is information, not a prescription. So when you get advice, take it, know it, look at it. I said, it can expand your point of view. It, it See it differently. It will make you see your point of view differently and open up for you to see what is possible. Did you get that? Are you there with me on that? Advice from others is not, is only information. It's not a prescription. Here you are, my client, doctor, patient. Here is your prescription. No, 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 no. When I talk with you and I come in the morning to motivately teach you, I am a teacher. I am not, a, I am not an autocrat and say, do this or dead. No. Remember, it is an information I'm giving and it's not a prescription. You can expand, this information can expand your point of view to get you to see it differently and open up for you to see what is possible. So it's like, it's a prescription. No, it is, hi Marina, good morning. It is information, not a prescription you get at the morning blessing. Good morning, Ryan. What I do at the morning blessing is give you a key and you have a choice. To open that door with that key or to drop the key. Or you can open the door just far enough to push yourself in just tiny and then pull back. Because there is there no right time for you to be successful or to begin to create. There is no right strategy for you to do it and for me to do it. And of course, there is no right equipment. But there are times that it is helpful. To receive advice from more experienced creators or people who have done that, gone down the road before. Remember though, it is information, not a prescription. It can expand your point of view. I keep saying that because I want you to know that. It can cause you to see what you're seeing differently and open for you to see what is more possible. So you see it differently and you can say, okay, you know what? There is possibility that is different from my point of view. It's not a recipe that you must stick to. It's not a prescription that you must take. An experienced person draws from what they have experienced and again recommends what solutions worked for them. Heard the word recommend. I was taught to use that word so much at the bank. I recommend. I am not forcing it down your throat. So 
An experienced person draws from what they have experienced, what they have read, what they have seen, what they have heard, what they have tasted, what they have touched. And they tell you about the experience. And again, they can choose to recommend what solutions work for them. This is what worked for me. I am very joyful in doing the morning blessing. I am completely full of joy. There isn't anything that is working me up that will shock me. My friend said yesterday, I am so happy with my life. When you get to that point that you can feel joy in your life, you have made it. Whether you have only $10 in the bank or $10 million, you have made it. And the solution that got her there, some of it might work for some of us. And some of it will not work. You know why? The thing is, we were created differently. We are not the same as that friend. That person, that adult, that, that wisdom person that is going to teach you what they say. Hey, this is what I had to do. Hey, this is what worked for me. And, and that solution was the best for me. And if they say you must do it, you have to pull back and breathe. Don't insult them. Just breathe and take enough. So the thing is, it is specific to their journey. It was their journey. It was specific to where they are, they plan to go. Specific from where they started. Specific to the way they, they, tra they traverse through that journey called life. Please note, it is their way, not the way. Got that? When somebody says, like I said, this worked for me. Consistency works for me. Persistency worked for me. Determination worked for me. Hold on. Do not let go. It worked for me. It is part of my DNA. Somebody said, when did you learn that? Yesterday I did something. I don't know this thing. This um, Ellen invited me to for the whole week, an hour, 10 to 11. I don't know. I can't tell you what to listen to because I don't know what it's called. And again, she asked, when did it start? When did discipline start? It, 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 without discipline, I don't know what it was, but it always was there. You start something, you must finish it. It's a choice though. That is how I feel. That worked for me. It is my way. That is what I did with my children when at four years old, they were signing contracts. At five years old, they had it down pack. Where's the contract? They would ask for it. You know why? I am not spending money for you to take an activity and halfway through the activity, you're saying you do not want to. For example, the art program in, that feels so good when they come home with the paper from school in October. But are you willing, I would ask, to wake up in February on a cold Saturday morning to get to go to this ad program? Think about it before you insist that I pay for it. Because if I pay for it, here's your contract. You have to fulfill the agreement. And that was how I raised them. That was my method. Does it work for you? No. But you can think about it. You can take part of the conversation and implant it on a child, on another person. That worked for me. It doesn't have to work entirely from you, for you. Um, it was not, it's not the way. It is my way, the way I chose. And of course, the songwriter said, I did it my way. I beat up more than I can chew and I spit it out. That's what Paul Anker wrote for his song for himself. And he offered it to Frank Sinatra. It wasn't written for Frank Sinatra. It was written by um, um, Paul Anker from Ottawa, Canada. And that's where he, he wrote it. And he said, I did it my way. I spit it out. I beat up more than I can show. Admission. I keep saying to everyone, listen to songwriters. Their stories are always there to push you to realize, hey, take something from it. I did it my way. I beat up more than I could chew. So I spat it out. And at the end, I did it my way. It is not the way. You are unique. So therefore, your path must be unique. 
and it is only you, yours to follow. There is no single mapped out route to creativity or to being what you desire to be. You're a creator. You're creating your life. And you better believe you're creating your life, whether you are conscious or unconscious when you're taking the vow and saying, I do, or when you see something, what it is, you ask yourself. Now the journey is sour. What it is that I saw that I just had to have? Were you in the moment? Or did you get caught up in the flow? I must have a female or male mate. I must have a spouse or partner. I am not enough to complete me. I need, you hear this. How many of you can raise your hand and say, I heard somebody say, oh, he completes me. She completes me. Nobody can complete you. You already complete. You came complete. There is nothing left to make you complete. And for that reason, you have to remember that you are a creator. You are unique. Therefore, your path must be unique. The path you follow must be unique. And it is only yours to follow. There is no single mapped out route to success. You do not need, there is no right equipment. There is no right strategy. There is no right time. It is unique to you. If somebody said to you, I missed my time. Look at the pronoun here. I, I missed, not you. So do not swallow that and say, well, you know, Jane Murrow missed her time. Uh, me coming later, I won't get, hey, who said that? Your sun hasn't set. Your sun is still rising. Liz Monroe's sun is midway through. So naturally, you know, she might miss her time. That's her time. It's not yours. Stop aligning your success or your track to the track of others. You are unique. Specifically created to be the amazing you that you are in the moment. No matter where you are, and there are cracks all over, the more cracks you have, the more you are able to see clearly, the more the light will shine through. If you do not have a crack and you're sitting in darkness, you are in trouble. It's when it's broken that you can see the truth. It's your way, not their way. The map, the route is yours to follow, just yours. You know, do not ignore though the wisdom of others. Receive it gracefully. Try it and see what works for you. Let the rest go. It was not meant for you. All of it is not yours. Good morning, Kim Kimberly. All of the words you get from the people that are older than you, the wisdom makers, do not ignore it and say, this is an old daughter, an old woman. Do not do that, an old man, a stupid person. I have more education than they. Come on. Your silly little four-year degree has only taught you, taught me one thing, and a lot of them. You are able to complete a task in a given time, four years, and you have the ability to learn. That's what it does. So ignore, do not ignore the wisdom of others. Receive it gracefully. Try it and see what works for you. Let the rest go. It was not meant for you. Because you see, you are unique. Therefore, your path must be unique. And it is only your path to follow. There are no single map out routes to creativity. And hi, Ellen, good morning. And there are no right strategy, right time, or right equipment. There isn't any such thing. Even if the source is greater than you, the person telling you is great, and they're telling you the test is amazing, and they give that big example, Take it, fiddle with it yourself to discover what works for you. Because what works for me cannot always work for you. I am unique. My journey is different. And so, but every journey is as important. It is a choice we make every day to decide. If that journey of yours is important enough for you to stick to itness, stick to it. 
I call it stick to itness. It's a, it's a habit. It's an energy. It's a vibration. Do not let it go. It's your journey. You choose. The person who comes to you and say to you, let go of this journey, they're wrong. They're making an opinion, forming an opinion for you. And if you allow them to continue with this, they are going to go further away from you. Because they will always believe you're not good enough. You do not have what it takes. That is why I must tell you. You, you haven't picked it up. You're not getting it. You notice the attitude is like a little angry little train. And, they, oh, I told you what to do. And they're saying, well, you should have listened to me. No, I don't. I can take one side of your pocket and leave the other side alone. That is what I said. Even if the source is greater than you, test it and fiddle with it yourself to discover what works for you. The only practice that matters is the one you consistently do, not the practice of others. That is what matters. What you consistently do is what matters, not the practices of others. Sometimes though, after you have used a creative uh, method, it's time to let it go. You know, because creativity has no wrong way to get there. If you are doing something to get and you're manifesting to get to where you desire to be, there's no wrong way. You might come across a detour, but it's still not a wrong way. You might have to change lanes, but it's still not a wrong way. You might have to get off the subway and take the bus, but it's still not the wrong way. You might have to take the Amtrak train, the GO train. You might have to take the Via Rail from one point to the other, but it's not the right. It's not the wrong way. You might be living in the in in the east and take a bus to the main city. It's still not the wrong way because it's your destination. I who flew. That was my choice and that was my way to get there but is that the only way to go around the world no nowadays we have choices so therefore that tells me that there is no right or wrong way to do something there is only one way your way your destination where do you want to go and you have to know that because you have to remember as i said at the beginning there are no right equipment, there are no right time, and no right strategy. There are times that it is helpful to receive advice from more experienced people, creators, elders. Remember it as information, not a prescription. Not a prescription. So, expand on it. Listen to what they have to say. Take that little point of view they're putting in front of you and see, you know what, this will work for me, but that won't work for me. But you cannot take it all because if you do, you will stumble and fall. It will expand how you think and you have to realize that. But if you're going to walk in this person's footstep, come on, man. The shoe, the fit is, the fit is a lot bigger. They walk on the side and you walk on the right side. They walk on the left side. You happen to walk on your toes. They put their heel down first. Come on. You're going to trip and fall. But because you have decided to do exactly as they do, even when you know and you have said it in your mind, Tessa Mary, my father was a drunk. I'm really afraid to drink alcohol. Is that what your concentration is? What do you want? I do not want to drink alcohol. Then don't tell me about your father who was a drunk and a gambler and all of this. And your my mother was a messy homemaker. I'm, you know what? Get on with it. Change this. I keep saying most of the times you complain about your ancestors or your parents that close. When, when I ask, so where are, you? where are the parents? Oh, they're dead. And I just say, hey, stop for a minute. You realize, of course, the angels are now using the bones as trumpet. So what's your point? You take from that experience and you decide what it is you desire to create in that life of yours. 
An experienced person draws on their experiences. So it's you to draw on your experience. You, you, you have to choose what it is you desire to experience and how you're going to manage it. And yes, sometimes, just sometimes, you need to take a detour. And it's not because of the detour that you failed. It's because of the amount of energy and vibration and the quality of the energy and the vibration that you put into it. It's all up to you. No one else is responsible and no one else is coming. Get off the stone and go move the boulder yourself. They're not coming. They don't have to come. Because you carry them for nine months rent free does not mean they owe you their life. Because you nurtured them and you fed them does not mean they owe you their life. Because when we, they were down and about, you helped them does not mean they have to do the same for you. They have their own route to travel. Do not say, if I, were, if I were them, you know, I would never do that great. Then don't do that. When you say, you know what, I will never behave, then fine, knock yourself out. That is not what is needed in the moment. Let people be themselves. And you, the parent, you, the grandparent, you, the sibling, you, the senior citizen, you, the this, remember, your experience is only yours. I tell you this all along. I do not expect somebody to make a choice. I do not call them sacrifices, the things I went through. They were choices. And I will not alter one of them. I will not correct one of them. Because if I chose to go back there and attempt to correct anything in my past, it doesn't happen. So why would I spend such valuable moments of time to go back over the river? On the other bank of the river, I have crossed already. What is wrong with me? Where I am now is where I was always meant to be. How I got there, maybe is not the same way you will get where you desire to be. The only thing that really matters and truly matters is that you did it your way. When it was too much, you spit it out. When you bit too much, you let it go and you chose to do it your way. And when you are criticized for being the type of creator you are, whether you're creating a dinner, whether you're creating the bed to make the bed, to put the cover the bed, to dress up your bed, whether it is a plant on your balcony you're nurturing and it doesn't look too happy, whether it is you're standing and you believe I have something to share, whether your passion is to talk and talk like I do, it's yours. And when the critics come, all you have to say, I did it my way. And when they remind you of your failures, you have to say, of course, it didn't taste good. Or oh, I beat up more I could and I could chew my mouth was full. So I spat it out. But in the end, I did it my way. So when the bed is uncomfortable and somebody said, well, you chose it, you made, up, you made your bed so lie in it, said, hell no. I could have made the bed, but man, I do not like that little pee that is pricking me in my spine. Because you know why? I am a princess and I deserve more. A better bed, a softer bed, a more amazing bed, a bed that feels comfortable. So what? I changed the bloody mattress and everything that's in it. I got something new. And that is what others have to learn, to accept. The only practice in what you do in life is what matters, is you doing what you do constantly. Do not do, not do the practice of others. Do not do that. Oh, my friend is no, no, whatever. The word I would like to use is illegal. Sometimes, after you have used a creative method, it's time to let it go. Sometimes, when you're getting that urge to let it go, look at it and decide, yeah, I need to change things up. 
But hey, man, you're going to rust, rust with feathers like hell, have no fury as friends that do not like what you're doing. They will be calling you, phoning you, sending you messages. Why did you change? You know, yeah, 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 yeah. And why did you do that? Why did you do And oh my goodness, they sound like the tower of Babel in the Bible. Everybody talking and you are the one listening. And man, that's tough. But when you find a break, because sooner or later, they need to catch a breath. And you say, you know what? I did my best with it. I'm changing it. I'm spitting it out. It no longer tastes good. I'm going to do something different. That's what you say. Because you see, because creativity has no wrong way to get there. Remember that. And most of all, what gets you there is knowing the power of consistency. What gets you where you have to go is always knowing the power of being consistent and deciding, hello, high water, I'm going to stick to it and do not let anybody tell you it is time to let it go. Only you can decide because at the end of it all, you're the only one that's going to face the joy of sticking to it or the sadness of regret. You choose because really, there is no right time, there is no right equipment, and there is no right way to create the life you desire. Right? That's what I have. Strategy. It's all you. So wonderful people. I know you had comments. Let me see what you said. This is how it's working right now. So I miss a few of you, I'm sure. But Kimberly and Stacy and, and Ellen and... All of you who showed up, thank you for coming. Wonderful and me, Georgie and Marina and Ryan and who else? And all of you and all of you and everybody that's there. Good morning, uh, Nadi it, and Yuko and all of you wonderful people. Um, yes, so good morning. And Loretta and all of you amazing, wonderful people. Thank you for coming. And let us say hello to you by your name. Kimberly. Thank you. You're a creator. You go out there and you do things. And Tracy, you create everything out of everything. And Anarita, let's hold on. It has to happen. And Ellen, of course, is shining a bright light. Ellen, I don't know what is that thing <laughs> that I go on with you. I don't even sure I know the name. And you should maybe put it in the comments because I keep telling people I'm doing it at 10 o'clock and they have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, and Yuko, you know Yuko, Consistency is the master. And Georgette, you choose. You choose the weather. You choose the time and the moment for you to take steps to do what you must do. And Marina, keep shining. Keep showing us nature and all that it has in it. And Colleen, continue to be you. When I first met you, I, it was you, but not always being you. And now you are you. And Ryan, of course, the world is your oyster. Your choice. Stay focused on what it is you desire to have. Loretta, my dear, you are like Colin. You are you. And you took a little while to get there. So, Ellen, I am not seeing what you said. What it is. Where is that thing? Ellen said she hasn't. She didn't do it. Did you do it? Beautiful. Ellen must didn't hear me. Anyway, so wonderful people. Have a great and amazing day. Take care, and I'll see you all on the other side of time. Have a wonderful, amazing, and some people I'll see later, like Yoko and Stacy. So have a great day, and some of you I'll talk to. So have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye, everybody. Love you.